Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and today we'll be taking a look at Magelda but this time instead of the bird as we showed her off yesterday we're going to be taking a look at her at PvP although she's not a PvP unit I figured why not? Should be cool I guess and fun uh, but here she is just in case you don't know what she does go over her briefly Valkyrie Magelda there she is, wonderful uh, her unique, literally obsolete because it doesn't work uh, but just in case you don't know what it does, you want to come with me. And her raid trigger demonic beast battle every time an ally's remaining HP is full, applies one effect on that hero, which increases all stats by 8% for 5 turns, stacking up to 5 times. So during the beast battle, if you max out her passive, you increase everyone's stats, all of them, by 40%. So that's really, really good. Fortunately, it doesn't work in PvP, but I will see if we can do damage with her still. Uh, Raining Swords of Light is her first card. It's a single target Amplify card. Amplify, damage dealt, plus 30% or active buff on self. The more buffs, the better. And uh, since we have Gyothar on the team, as you saw there at the beginning, we can try and get level 3s off. So that's 450% of attack on enemy. So that should be pretty good paired up with level 3 Margaret buff. That should be decent damage, even without her passive working. And then she has a, a Rejuvenate card, Valkyrie's Prayer, just for heals. I guess this is uh, nice to have as well. It's only for one turn at each rank because uh yeah you only need it to heal for her main use which is uh the bird but it's still decent healing as well and then uh, her ultimate level two unfortunately only two six plundering uh blow inflicts power strike damage equal to 693 percent of attack on one enemy and power strike more resistance they have more damage now so there she is right there she is unknown so we're not going to be having go their passive which is unfortunate but the best team for her probably is this. Margaret Lodelcio for that level 3 buff so we can get many buffs as possible and also increase our damage dealt. Green Gelter for rank ups and also Pumpkin Mob should be nice. Unfortunately, his passive is not going to work. And then instead of Death Pierce in the back, since we're not getting no Green Gelter passive, I figured put Ram in here. So we increase all three of these, Gelter, Miguelda, and then uh, Rom's passive. Uh, Rom's uh, basic stats, all three of them, by 20% because of Rom's passive. And uh, a cheeky Sario Link just in case we crit. That way we do a bit extra damage. So yeah, it's basically it. Hopefully it goes well. See seafood so we can try and go first. Before we get started though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 4k subs. And if you enjoyed today's video and the new waifu Miguelda, consider leaving a like. It really does help out and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's it. I'll start searching. Be back once we have the first real player. Let's see how it goes. Do we have the first player? Bon Terry team. But judging from how quick we loaded in though, I don't think so. Unless I'm wrong, of course. Um, let's see. It's a player, I think. Okay. Good to know. I really need a level 3 buff. We're also not going to do any damage if my Miguel, though. Or any of my units, uh, for that matter. Yeah. Can I get a level 2 buff, please? Oh. Yo. That's actually kind of good. He's probably going to buff himself, he's going to stance up and maybe stance with Terry? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Shrink up Margaret. Let's merge. And then level 3 buff. Hopefully, please give me another rank up. That way I can rank up my Miguelda and have two level 3 Amplify cards paired up with this fat level 3 Margaret buff. And those big juicy 5 total buffs. Oh my god, hold on. Rank up. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, five total buffs. So each one 30% increase. How much damage are we going to take from this though? We have full gauge. Uh, that's fine. Um. Okay, here what I'm going to do is just do a cheeky ult rush, I guess. Should I? Uh, should I try and take out Arthur? But yeah, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 150% increase extra damage. You know what? Why not? We'll do some damage. If not, then Arthur survives. It is what it is. Can I? Can we one-shot him though? It's a level 3. Please, Miguelda. I'll be super impressed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, we do, who who needs go their passive these days? Actually, who needs go their passive? I don't. Maybe you don't. Does he have Holy Relic Trigo? No. The best... I have triple ult. He literally has to use triple takeaway gauges, which he might have. Let's see. That's so much damage, dude. Keep in mind, no Gother passive. So no increase attack rate stats. 
And then no uh, Miguel the passive as well. Did he drain Margaret and Gilda? That's fine. Tell me you didn't drain Miguel the. You didn't. Let's go. You know what? I mean, since I d I dissolved them, yeah. I don't have nothing to worry about. So let me try and be a bit cheeky here. I'll try and do this. This is ambitious. Hopefully we get Twiggo out of here with these two cards. Ah, uh, nah. I was kind of hoping we would crit. Dude, if we would have crit the first hit. Okay, so if we lose, it's my fault. I mean, she's too six. <sighs> Man. Yeah, that's my bad. I'm. If I lose, it's because of this play. All he has to do is rush ult. Yeah. But my buffs run out next turn, though. Hmm. We'll see. Man, I really thought Twi if we would have finished off Twigo, he would have lost the HP boost. Would have done much more damage. He's 6 6? He's not. Alright. Gives me a bit of hope. Actually, since he's not 6 6, I'm pretty sure we can tank that. So I'll do this. I pretty I'm pretty sure Margaret has enough damage here to finish off Twigo. And that's a decent amount of damage and also max HP that he's gonna lose out on. So let's see, Margaret, please take out uh, Twigo. Yeah, no problem. Easy, dude. All right, I don't care about Bond's ultimate. He can ultimate. Can I get some uh, Magilda cards, please? None. Hopefully he drains me though. But I'm already. This is actually really good for a first match, dude. It took a while to find this player as well. He's he doesn't have six six, so I don't really care about this ult. It's not gonna do much. Yep. And is he gonna go for a swipe or something? A drain. Can I get a? I mean, I have cards for her. Oh, there it is. You know what? Let's rank her up. No, that's the wrong person. Let's rank up uh, Miguelda. She has level 3 Margaret buff again. I guess we'll heal. And then maybe a level 2 is enough damage. A level 3 was able to one-shot a... Uh, what's his name? Arthur, though. With us damage reduction. Surely this is enough damage. Please. Close, dude. If he did not put up a stance and increased all those stats by 20%, that would have been GG. Nothing but Gelder cards. Well, we tank this, no problem, though. Alright, so the game's over. Yeah, this is his best chance of winning, but now he didn't finish me off. And this pipe's not going to do that much damage because uh, he doesn't have any more support units. But it is unfortunate, though. Okay, he left. Windscreen, windscreen. Nice. Good. That was actually a really good game. Not gonna lie, although it did drag on quite a bit because he didn't, didn't want to leave. But it's fine. We got to see a level 3 Amplify card paired up with a level 3 um, buff with Margaret. And we saw big damage on Arthur. I'm actually impressed. We could have finished it off sooner if I wasn't a bit too cocky and uh, try to finish off Twigo with those cards. But it is what it is. We still won. I'll be back, though, with uh, Game 2. Alright, we have the next player, which I believe is number two. I've been searching for about an hour now. As you can see, I'm in Champion 3, because I've been playing out the bot matches, just so I can get ranked up. Um, but here we are. Can I actually get in the game, please? Thank you. Oh, this too. Um, he doesn't merge, which is a plus. Alright. I'm going to attack. Hello? Okay. Attack, dissolve, and then I'll merge. Yep. Yeah. And then dissolve him. Hopefully, he can get a level 3 buff turn 1. Go to Holy Relic, which is useless for PvP, just extra CC. Oh. Hmm. Probably gonna taunt up, dissolve me, and rank up Margaret. The usual play, man. Yep. Rank up Margaret. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Um. Let me move this. I'll rank up. And then level 3 buff, I guess. Because you're going to do it. You're going to do the same anyways next turn. Which I'm already at a disadvantage. Because you actually have Gilder Pass. And I don't. 
Unless I can pull a rank up and then I can just go off with Magelda though. That's a possibility. Never mind, I don't get anything. He's gonna rank up Margaret either once or twice. Okay, twice, because he only had a level one buff. He has a level three attack though. Do you think I have enough damage to take out uh, Margaret? Probably. Does he merge anything right now? Hold on. He hasn't attacked me. A Has he attacked me a bit? Because uh, keep in mind, resistance actually kind of helps me out. He attacked me once. Okay, so that's an extra 30% increase. That's pretty good. I wish he would attack me more, though. But we'll do this. If we can take out Margaret, I think we win. Please? Nice. Let's go, dude. He wasted two rank ups on this Margaret. Sorry, Margaret, but you gotta go. Oh, so many cars as well. I'm lucky. Alright. we. I think we win. We have Old Swift Margaret. Which will probably just rank up with Droll. If he has another rank up. And then petrify me. Uh, oh. But I think uh, if he doesn't petrify my Megilda, I think I can finish off his Droll. Uh, with these cards. Hopefully he pumpkin bombs me as well. Let's see. Now he's going to rank up Taunt or yeah, that's your... Okay, that's fine. And then... Oh, you didn't... Okay, yo. Let's go. Gilther is gone. I'm pretty sure. Let's do this before my buffs run out. Because if we take him out, that's GG. I don't care what you do. You lost. Nice. Look at that, man. No Gilther passive needed. Let's go. Let's just straight up raw damage. Just from the Amplify effect. We're not getting no Gilther passive. Um, yeah. And her pass was not working as well. Miguel though. Yeah, bye bye. Let's go. We actually beat a pretty high CC player using this team. <laughs> so that's pretty good. But I'll be back though with uh, game three. Looks like we might have the third player full stance team. But I think it's a bot judging from how quickly we loaded in. Could be wrong though. I hope I am, but I'm probably right. Never mind, I was wrong. Okay. Let's do this. Actually, before he can um, turn off my Margaret, let me level through buff. The best play I can do. Attack him, and then we already have what we want. Level three buff, turn one, perfect. And then hopefully next turn I can get a rank up and another Megilda Amplify card so I can do big damage. Oh, nice. So as long as he doesn't turn off Gother, please don't. I am 99.99% .99 sure that he has that's the rest in the back. Why'd you do that? Does he? Yep, okay. And he's, yeah, he's still, people always still turn off Margaret. No, it's fine. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. That could actually be a level three Petrify. So I'm not even going to risk it, dude. We'll dissolve you. And then we'll, there's no way you tank this level three Amplify. No chance. The, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Miguelda, my new queen, show, show everyone why. Get the new Ragnarok Queen around here. Thank you. 132,000 damage. I don't care about that crack shooting damage. Get out of here. Alright. Um. Got Besteros in the back. Can I get another rank up? Yo. I really hope he doesn't have another stance. Well, if he has an Esterosa stance, he's gone. But if he doesn't, I'll, I think I can one-shot Terry. As long as he doesn't put up enough stats of Terry, because then he'll increase all of his stats by 20%. I'm just going for Margaret. Oh, that damage reduction is going to be annoying, dude. You know what? We kind of still have to go for it. So let's actually take a look at Magilda's stats. I don't think once I've shown it, because we don't have Gilder passive, but almost 3.4k. A bit under. Attack. Extra defense, all that good stuff. Um, Alright. Level 3 followed by a... Uh, what's it called? Murder card. Please, Miguel, there's no way. He's 
uh, red as well. Type advantage. Surely. Thank you. Nice. And just like that, we win. I mean, he could just keep draining me, but yeah, we're good. Let's go, dude. Uh, actually, the previous two matches have been kind of long. This one is a relatively short compared to the two, so I'll either cut to the outro or I'll do one more. So, guys, I'll see you guys then. Last player. Hope so. Voluntary team. Let's see. Even if it's not, I think this will be the last one anyways. I've been searching for way too long. Two hours to find this player. Or if it's a bot. This bot. It's a player. Thank God. This is it anyways, yeah. So annoying, dude. How do I take this long? Literally not. There's no one playing the game. I mean, I know it's like... I started searching at 11 p.m. It's currently 1 a.m. So... There's that. And I get disgusting RNG, dude. Okay. Um... Rush ult of Terry? Almost. Stands up. That's fine. Uh, I guess I'll... Dissolve. I'll attack and then I'll heal. I really hope he's not 6-6. Because if he is, this is gonna hurt. Or... If he, oh my god. What? Who do you have? That's way too much damage. Unless you... There's no way you have like Death Pierce in the back. If he doesn't have another stance, he won't be able to get ults here. Please don't have another stance. Knowing my luck, he pulled another stance. Hmm. No, he didn't. Good. Alright. This is the move. Do this. Level 3 Margaret buff. Hopefully he doesn't have a stance next turn with Arthur or Terry. Preferably Arthur. That way I can uh, hopefully rank up my Megalitha. And then level 3 Amplify his Terry. And that should finish him off. Or I'll see. Let's see what my card draw is looking like. Can I get Margaret cards also? Attack cards, anyways. Please? I can work with this. If he rushes Ult of Bond, I'm gonna have to take him out. Yeah. He gotta go. Yeah, he has to go. I think we can actually take him out, even though Arthur's still on the field. Um... So let's do exactly that. Let's rank up Miguel though. It's level 3 with her and just in case do a level 2. There is... I don't know though. He still has Arthur on the field. Never mind. Oh my god. Go for uh, go for Arthur. No. Never mind. If you're going to take all the, all the amount. <laughs> okay. This makes up for searching for 2 hours. Dude. Let's go. And we win. Who does have in the back? El Escanor. How did his Terry do that much damage on the counter to my Gelther without like... Eh, okay. That's whatever. And we win. We get to see Ultifer as, as well. I'll probably ult... Is that a level 3 stance? Oh, no. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to ult Arthur because he... Does actually no no this this is the move. Hold on. Uh yeah, I'll ult her with the I'll ult Arthur, rank up uh Miguel that we have a level three, and if everything goes to plan, we one shot Arthur, and then we finish off Escanor with the level three amplify card. Nice, exactly what's gonna happen. This way Escanor loses a lot of HP. So that's pretty good. And then Miguel, can you please End of my suffering. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Ah, uh, alright. I was literally... Like in... Champ I was close to champion too. But then I said, okay, I'm not playing bot matches anymore. Because I was actually playing them. I usually just skip them. But now I'm... I got demoted almost to champion 5. No, I wasn't champion 5. But now I'm champion 4. And I'll just have to easily grind to champion one. I'll probably use like the Gelter team. That's the Gelter team and climb with wine food. Should be take me 
usually takes me like five matches at max with wine food. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy Miguel in PvP. Uh, especially towards our last match. For you guys, it was instant from three to four. But for me, it took hours. But it's still pretty good damage, even though we didn't have Gilda the passive or Miguel the passive. So she's hitting pretty hard. And if I were 6 6, the ultimate would be disgustingly more damage. But it's still pretty good. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, comment down below what you thought about the video, and then uh, like the video, of course. It really does help out, and it would really uh, make me happy. <laughs> Especially because of two hours, dude. Over two hours plus, that's disgusting. Uh, but yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.